So to celebrate this day, which is the day of the release of the new Zweihander <laughs> album, and it's also the uh, best day of the year if you're uh, into dressing up, running around, yes. and rotting your teeth out. So pretending awesome. to be somebody else for a day. So in order to commemorate this day, we are building a wall mount PC featuring the new 1070 Ti with the MSI right here. So uh, let's just show you what we used in this and uh, then I'll tell you what we're gonna do with it. But um, we've been putting this off for quite a while now that we're in the new office and we finally got the projector up and officially screwed into the ceiling and mounted. It is now there. <laughs> it's time to play some games and I wanted some power. So what do we got? Well, for the CPU, we're using Coffee Lake, a uh, i7-8700K. No surprise there, it did just come out. And it is mounted to ASRock's Fatality Gaming ITX AC. This is a cool little board. Now we've only had a little bit of time to play with it, but it is pretty much everything we asked for in an ITX motherboard and more. Seven phase power supply on this one, which is more than most in this size. Uh, they also managed to put uh, tons of features on there. When I first looked at it, I was like, man, they got a lot of stuff on here, but they didn't, they didn't find room for the M.2. Flip it over, there's the M.2. So you got that, you got RGB header on there, which we need to get some color in there because, I mean, this thing's gonna go on the wall. It needs to be a little bit ridiculous. The only thing I wanna mention on that, on that CPU, that's the craziest uh, CPU that we have right now for frequency, and I really wanted that for stuff like CMU and other uh, emulators because they really, really like uh, the first two or three cores and they really like high frequency. I might end up swapping this out for an i5 because I may end up taking that six core for a, a gaming build for myself. But right now this is what we have. So you really could get away with an i5 in the living room if you're mainly gonna be doing um, gaming. And if you're not really interested in uh, emulators, the AMD stuff is also a very good option, but they, the emulators, especially CMU and Dolphin, really like the extra um, frequency you get with the Intel. Yeah, AMD was actually our first choice for this until the 8700K landed at the door. Next on the list, let's go to what's powering this beast, this very small beast, and that's Corsair's SF450, SFX power supply. This thing is incredibly dense, incredibly quiet, and actually has a pretty fair amount of power output. We, we busted its chops with a 1080 Ti in some tests. Yeah, and it, it crashed in a couple of the tests. A couple, but... It did, with it a did fair work. overclock. Yeah, with, with an overclock. Now the thing about this uh, power supply, it's modular, which I really like. It shuts off when it uh, you know goes below a certain level, but this system's, if, you know, in gaming, it's always gonna be on. Mm -hmm. uh, but in idle, it was, it was off, so that's like, holy crap. Uh, you're gonna be pushing this thing at the, you know, pretty, pretty high, uh, but it's got over 35 amps on the 12 volt rail, 37.5 or something like mm -hmm. that. Yep. Um, so that's pretty good. I'm a little worried about overclocking this graphics card, but we may not have to, so we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, next up on the list there, let's talk about some storage. How about it? Let's talk about some storage. So we got, again from Corsair, their 240 gigabyte LE drive. This thing is pretty much, I, I think this is probably one of the better price performance drives for SATA. And it's everything we need in a drive. We don't need M.2. We're not loading up, you know, all kinds of crazy programs. We're just playing games. This is perfect. Yeah, I mean, by the time you press power and sit down on the couch, you're gonna be in your OS. Now, for actual storage, we went with a one terabyte Toshiba drive, not because it was a good price, but because we don't need anything more. Most of the games we're playing are hosted off the NAS. We have local storage for that, or network storage for that. So local storage is necessary, but not to a huge extent. One terabyte works perfectly. These Toshiba drives are excellent for that. Now, if you don't have an NAS and you're gonna be storing media and games uh, you know, locally, or you don't have a secondary gaming PC, you're probably gonna want you know, three or four terabytes, but one or two terabytes, guys, look at the prices, because a lot of times right now, like especially during this time of year, the two terabytes are gonna go on sale for around the same price as the one terabyte. We've had that one for a while. Mm -hmm. So right now you may be able to get a two terabyte for like a few dollars more, which is like a no brainer. So just grab whatever you can grab. So, RAM, the Vengeance LPX DDR4-3200. This stuff is awesome. We've actually used this on a couple of other builds before. We used it on Ryzen, and we used it on the, I think the i5-7600K before we switched RAM. We may have used a different RAM for that. Right. But we did use this RAM in previous builds. It's awesome, highly recommended, works with every system we've done. Yeah, that's the main thing stuff. I like about it is it's been extremely stable. But the other thing, I mean, when you're talking about a system like this, the RAM speed is not as important as it is with the AMD systems. That is true. Um, for, for gaming overall, you're not gonna see much of a difference in your bottom line like whatsoever. But I like 
the profile of this card. It's, um, you know, it doesn't have any crazy fins or anything like that, so we have uh, room for other activities in there. So, speaking of other activities, what's gonna be going on around the RAM? Well, we've got this big water block on there, and you guys are probably wondering, like, what the hell is that thing? And these ugly tubes and no lights on oh. top, so it's kind of ugly, but it gets the job done. Now, truth be told, we were gonna put uh, a Corsair, a new Corsair unit in here, but the tubes come out of the side, like, or they're too close to the side, and they, were, they wouldn't fit in here, so we had to use something we dug out of a box, and it yeah. works really well. I mean, we can overclock it with this and everything, but which one is this? This is like a this glacier. Is the, yeah, this is the Cooler Master Glacier 240L. So there it is. It has totally movable tubes, which allowed us to mount it properly on the water block or on the CPU, and also move the tubes out of the way so we could mount the radiator on the top. Now, as a little side project, I might uh, you know partner up with somebody and and put together something with some bendable tubes and just make this a little bit cooler looking. But right now, I was like, you know what? I just want to play games and I want to do it on, on the sofa. It's time for us to uh, you know celebrate a few things. So the next step is RGB and chromed hard pipe. Chromed hard pipe? We're doing chrome now? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go full on, just chrome it out. Nickel plated, chrome plated, do whatever, just make it blingy. Uh, yes. The last thing uh, we, we didn't really go into was the, the graphics card. This is the brand new uh, 1070 Ti. So this is almost as fast, and especially with a little bit of an overclock, it's about as fast as a 1080, which I like. But I mean, you can obviously overclock the 1080, but with this power supply, I'm like, the 1070 is going to be the perfect spot to push this thing to the max without going over, if yeah. that makes any sense. Um, and also, I'm not going to really need much more power for 1080p, because that's what the projector is. It's 1080p. It's not 4K. Um, the last thing is that the the emulators and stuff that I really like, like CMU and stuff, they like the CPU almost more than the GPU. The GPU is important, but we should be able to get by uh, running those games at a nice smooth 30 to 60 FPS with this no problem whatsoever. So I don't foresee us needing any more power in this machine for the next few years. I mean, it's that's gonna be plenty fast. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna play some games, hang this thing on the wall. Um, it normally comes with a stand if you're looking at this case being like, oh yeah, the case. I didn't even mention the freaking case. This is the PC05S. <laughs> yep, this is the, yeah. the Lian Lee PC05S. Got the tempered glass right here. Uh, All aluminum on. construction. Yep, it's got a stand normally where you can stand it up like this, or you can lay it down. There's, well, you could lay it down if you wanted to. I don't know why. Uh, you got a riser here for mm -hmm. your um, graphics card, as you can see. We've got this kind of wired in a weird way because we put the, you know, the hard drives behind uh, here, and then we have two spots on the back that are uh, going to be mounts for your wall. And that's what we're going to be doing with this thing is mounted right up on the wall. It does so. come with adhesive feet as well if you wanted to just put round feet on it. Yeah, however you want to do it. But uh, yeah, I've been meaning to use this for a while. There's even a slot for a slim uh, ODD, but I don't know, for a living room PC that people people might want that to put like a Blu-ray in there and like actually watch a Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. I tend to be one of those guys being like, okay, I've got this new uh, Blu-ray or DVD. Oh, uh, well, screw it, I'm gonna download it anyway. <laughs> and then just like... Just rip it onto a flash drive. Yeah, just kind of, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't wanna mess with putting the thing in there, then dealing with menus and all that stuff. I'm ridiculous like that, so. Anyway, let us know what you guys think, uh, and be sure to uh, get a t-shirt. Also, hardware is in the store. Grab some of that Finnick gear. It's uh, moving like hotcakes. And then you guys wanna show us some t-shirts? Oh God, Jesus. Hey, how about this t-shirt? You guys want, the this is a good one right here. That, there we go. Lovely, yes. Everybody knows that. I'll probably be using a controller with this. I, that's the irony is that <laughs> I'll probably be using a controller a lot with this machine, but the bottom line is that is that PC beats console. That's the main message. Take away there. Which will be hell to pay. Let's show you guys some t-shirts. Epicpants.com. This is my favorite this year. And be sure to grab the uh, shirt of the month while you're over there. It's a funny shirt making fun of Google. Whatever. All right, everybody. See you guys in the forum. Later.